G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Google Search Console to unlock powerful keyword research. Let's jump into it. Guys, Rank Lightning's live, so make sure you go over and check out the best local SEO tool so it can make your life so much easier. So this is why you want to use Google Search Console for keyword research. In this scenario, I'm going to be using Rank Lightning. Now for the uninitiated, I'm going to walk you through Google Search Console, what it is, where you need to click and everything like that. If you already know how this operates, just jump forward to the next part and you can watch it. But essentially what I'm seeing here is the lifetime of a three month period. Right here, I'm seeing all of this information on what keywords were performing for my website, what position they're in, how many impressions they got, how many clicks they got. That's essentially what Google Search Console is going to tell you. Okay, so it's awesome, awesome information. Now, if you have a website that's been around for maybe six months, a little bit longer, Rank Lightning, obviously, guys, has been live for, I think it's under like two months now. But as an example, you can see this stuff here. So you can filter by the date, you can filter by web searches, you can filter by a ton of stuff. I would suggest the longer your website's been around for, look typically for six to 12 months. That's a great point because anything older than that, Google might not reward you for it. You might have made adjustments on your website. Let's say you might have been a tree removal or you might have just been an arborist and then you've started to really focus on tree removal. If you keep going after things that Google Search Console was showing you for the arborist terms, well, what, what, how is that relevant to you? You might get a little bit confused. So look at a time space that's relevant for your business, not so much your website. Think about like that, guys. You're doing SEO because you want to make money. You're not doing it because you're bored on a Saturday evening and you've got nothing better to do with your life. So that's what you want to do there. Set the time up. Now, this stuff down here, guys, just behind my buff head, you can see right here there's clicks, impressions, CTR, and position. So for the keyword rank lightning over the last three months, there was 137 clicks on it. There was the impressions of 186 times, the click-through rates at 73%, position at saying 3.4. Now, how, you, how accurate are these numbers? Yeah, I'd say they're probably accurate maybe 75% of the time. So that's just something important to keep in mind. So now we want to export this keyword data from Google Search Console into Google Sheets. Very, very easy. The only things that you want to focus on, guys, is the stuff right here or it's the last three months. You've got to have the date set to the right time frame. So just come up here, export Google Sheets, make your life nice and easy. All right, so this is the data that we want to see, guys. So it's all here. So you can see down the bottom, we've got the pages, countries, devices, search appearance, dates, and the filters all here. So you can see it. If you put it, set it to a specific time period, you'll export the data for that time period. So that's just something to keep in mind because you might set this for six months, cool bananas, have a look at it in three months, and then you'll export actually the three months. So you can see the page, the countries, the devices, the search appearance, all of that's here. Now I would suggest keeping Kurt's, uh, Search Console open just so it can be a reference between jumping forward and jumping backward. But if you come back to the Google Sheet, this is where you can make edits and look for things. Now, what you're looking for is you're looking specifically for things that are being shown up. Now, like I said, Rank Lightning, guys, the tool's been out for a, what, maybe a couple of months now. So impressions alone, this is kind of perfect for the average person. So if you're new to SEO, if you're learning about SEO, you're a local business owner and you're just trying to figure out how do you go about this, this is what you want to start with because this is essentially what you're going to see. So I'm going to look for impressions. This is where I'm looking. Now impressions in the sense of, hey, you've been served up for this at least once. Now the reason you like this is because Google trusts you for this. If it's giving you an impression, it doesn't mean that it loves you, but it does think that you're a bit of an authority on that keyword. So as an example, a great tool, word, a great keyword that we could look at right here is the Rank Checker tool. Now, Rank Lightning, we are going to be incorporating a Rank Checker tool. We are going to be doing that. So that's a great tool. Uh, tool. That's a great keyword. It is a great tool. Definitely check out Rank Lightning. Best rank trackers. Look at all of this. So I know I'm sitting here thinking, okay, so when Rank Lightning does go live with the Rank Checker tool, I'm sitting here going, right, okay, Google's already rewarding me for these terms. So why don't I go and create a blog now, right now, 
And by the time we launch this in, I think the rank tracker is going to be coming after the backlink stuff. So once we've got the backlink stuff sorted, there'll be a backlink uh, monitor and a rank tracker as well. So let's say like a month and a half. So all that stuff will be live. Hey, that's perfect. So if I create a blog now for this, I could be ranking for it. So rank tracker, that's a good one. Google Maps ranking check. That's another one. So, okay, maybe I can look along those. No, SEO rank tool. Uh, do, 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 do. Rank checker local. Okay, let's look into that. Like a rank tracker tool. Yep, all of these. So, what you get to do, organic ranking tool. Look at all of this, guys. Look at all of these keyword ideas. And this is just from Rank Lightning. Again, with your website, you're going to have a lot more stuff. So you're going to be able to discern different things. Obviously, Rank Lightning is very specific to all of these types of terms. It's very specific. But as you can see, we don't have anything up on the website apart from there's going to be a small snippet on the roadmap, I believe. Rank Lightning. I believe it's going to show. Oh, look at that. Osborne Digital Marketing. Hey, how's he done that? How's he been able to achieve that awesomeness? So if we go to the roadmap, I believe there's mentions of rank tracking on there. Rank track. No, there isn't. Not on the roadmap. So track. Ah, oh, there is. Tracking data. Okay. So we've put tracking data. Tracking data and keyword tracking. So get that. Google's been able to discern, hey, you're talking about SEO type, local tracking, keyword tracking, all of this, and it's been able to discern those other variations. And this is a perfect example because you can see on this page, we don't even talk about uh, the specific words that were showing up here, rank checker tool. Like none of that stuff's showing up. Organic ranking tool, none of, none of this stuff. Uh, rank tracker tool, That's it's not showing up, guys. Yet Google is saying, hey, I've crawled your website. I've looked at this. Keyword tracking is kind of relevant to rank tracking tool. So I'm going to start serving up impressions for you. So this is how you can actually do the keyword research in Google Search Console and go, okay, well, we're getting rewarded for this and we haven't even talked about it. So I definitely should be creating a page talking about rank tracking. And this is where you then need to go away and obviously do the research outside. So use Rank Lightning to do the keyword research because again, Let's just say there's 10 searches on this. Am I going to spend my time doing a whole blog, an insightful YouTube video, all on that? No, guys. But what happens if there's 250, 300, 400, 5,000? You betcha I'm going to go and do it. So that's how you can use Google Search Console for unlocking easy, easy keywords. Now, let me explain some of the pros and cons of utilizing Google Search Console to research for keywords. And I'll give you some tips as well. Now, one of the big pros is the fact it's like, look at this. Google is telling you, hey mate, I trust you for these terms. So I'm serving you up for these terms. That makes your life a lot easier. So it's easier to sit there and find opportunities than any other method. Because if you're sitting there and you didn't know rank, tra let's just pretend, you didn't know that rank tracking and rank tracking was an actual keyword that people are looking for, you're missing out on money. That's money. That's money that you could be making. However, the cons of doing it this way is the fact is you might be led down the garden path. So you might be misled. Now, I might look at these and go, yes, ripper, fantastic. But if there's no search volume on them, if there's anything that's not really relevant, you might think that they're relevant, but they might not be. So you might get led down the garden path of going out there throwing all of this, sending this to your content team and saying, hey guys, create these blogs. And the other con is that you can duplicate your content and ruin your overall rankings. So you might see this stuff in here, right? But you might already have a page that specifically talks about, let's just say in this example, a rank checker tool. Let's say I've already created one. Let's say I've just done it. Halas, it's, it's up. Now, the other thing that you would want to avoid is duplication of content. So you might be sitting there going, oh, rank check a local tool, ripper. I'll create one for that because Google, look, 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 guys, Google's ranking, doing me for rank check a local. I'll, I'll do one for the rank checker. And I throw that blog up and then that starts to compete with my main keyword. 
you've got to think about those things and avoid that because sometimes you can have the blinkers on, especially when you're doing keyword research. But that's why if you follow these steps, I assure you, I guarantee you, you are going to find awesome opportunities that will make you some nice money and you'll be able to invest that into your business. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment guys, go over and check out Rank Lightning, all right? Go over and check it out because every single month we are doing more and more and more with that awesome tool. See you around, legends.